Hey guys, we are Warren and Emma, two travellers from WA who love to explore this great land of ours. From the red dirt to the turquoise coast, follow along on our adventures as we take you to the best camping spots our country has to offer. Hello everybody, um, thanks for watching another little trip video from, from us. It's been a while um, between drinks, so we've hit up a little hip camp out the back of Moore River and yeah we just had lunch at Seabird Tav, it was real good, drop in there, it's pretty good. Good views. Solid view, that's a hell of a beer garden. So yeah, we're just gonna head up to this hip camp and see what it's all about. Nice, easy little camp for us tonight. Yeah, we were gonna go to Wedge Island, but the wind is so bad. That's howling at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's actually, it's, it's up even now, sort of one o'clock in the Arvo. So it's our sort of southwesterly wind coming in and that's pretty normal for this time of year. So we're getting the easterlies in the morning and we're getting, um, getting strong southerlies in the evening time. So very very common for this time of year but doesn't make beach camping that fun when yeah. you're just getting smashed by the wind so we we had a change of well it was a quick change of plans wasn't it really we just yeah. decided last minute we'll check the hip camp well hip camp sent me an email and said um it was a advertising email so i just clicked on it see if there's anything around this is only an hour from home so looks good yeah looks like there's a little tiny bit of water in the river so we can sit in there to cool off and yeah we're not going to do much we're just going to chill out uh we all got to go back to work in another four or five days so we're just making the most of this last little bit of um holiday time but it looks so. fun there's four wheel drive to get in yep uh 150 acre site so yeah we'll show you as we go river Gotta let your tyres down here. We're taking this road. Just waiting. Waiting. Waiting for a mate. This is the reception. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are sort of set up at camp, sort of. Let's give you a spin around. We're not really set up at all. <laughs> We're not really set up, and it's a pretty good little posse. Um, <clears throat> yeah, getting in here was kind of cool. Guy comes, picks you up um, at reception, which is basically just a T junction. Um, <clears throat> and. Then you just drive with him, and he sort of picks out a spot. So he took me and he took us and another guy down to a spot, um, and it was by the river. But you just couldn't get two people in there, or you could. You get two people that know each other, but we didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> so we opted to just we opted to leave that spot to the other guy and um, and just get on, um, go for a drive. So yeah, we drove down the river a bit, and. Yeah, we've kind of ended up on this little spot just here on the river. Um, yeah, you can like get off down that way. Um, and there's like a little deep part of the river, which is quite nice. And yeah, there's another family camping um, just about, oh, I don't know, 80, 90 metres away from us. Um, their little dogs have come over and said hello. <laughs> um, everyone seems nice and friendly, pretty chilled out. There's a nice breeze coming through, cooling down the Arvo. Um, we're just chilling under the shade and just having having a couple of drinks, some nibbles, read a book. <laughs> yeah, I just went for a swim. Yeah, we're just going to chill out here and we're not even bothering to set up. Um, all our stuff is up there. Um, it's up there on the roof and 
just don't need any of it. <laughs> so we're not gonna we're not gonna get it down until the sun goes down a little bit later. It takes two seconds to set the swag and probably the only thing I need up there is a gas bottle for dinner. So we'll do that later on and then we'll give you a little campy walkthrough. Swizzled and we flipped. Swizzle and a flip. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, we just had some dinner. Had some lamb and some veg. Awesome. Uh, we love taking the Weber away, like during the summer months, because normally in winter time we'll just cook on the fire or in the camp oven. But summertime here uh, in Perth, WA, you can't. Um, can't have a fire for well, until after Easter, um, so April sometime. Um, yeah, so Weber cranked out a nice roast lamb, very, very good. Yeah, we've just chilled here this afternoon and watched sunset go down, read books, had a couple of drinks. Yeah, it's been really good. It's a nice little, nice little posse. We'll definitely come back. Hey guys, so just a bit of information on this one. This was a site that we booked on Hip Camp. Um, if you're not aware of Hip Camp, it's either an app or a website where you can book campsites on people's properties. Um, so this one was in Moor River. The name of the campsite was Eagles Ridge Adventure Camping. Uh, it cost us $32 per night. We did just stay the one night. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Alrighty, that's a wrap. We left camp nice and early this morning um, had a rip of sleep it's beautiful and quiet um, yeah we left early and drove over to uh, Moore River and stopped and had brekkie on the river and a swim and a coffee at the cafe the cafe's open now in Moore River again which is pretty cool so yeah all good um, we were just saying before about the hip camps um, yeah, you, sometimes you don't know what to expect. Like, you're just gonna go out and, and give them a try. Um, a lot of them don't have tons of information about their campsites. Uh, not a lot of them provide lots of pictures, and details and stuff, but yeah, look, you're just gonna go and give them a try because we thought this one was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, uh, lots of different types of sites there. Um, we pretty much locked out. I mean, we didn't take the first one that the guy suggested. We found somewhere better. Um, but yeah, it was good. We've been to quite a few hip camps. Yeah, we, we were just discussing how many hip camps we've done. There's quite a lot now, but I think it's it's worth just taking the gamble sometimes, going and trying them out because yeah, you never know what you'll um, what you'll end up at. And we probably want to go back to this one at some point, and um, it'll be a great one for kids, and also a good one if you've got uh, a group of people because there's quite a few big sites where you get groups in and 
hang out by the river and stuff today. So yeah, we think Georgia would really like that one, and um, the river's really shallow. She could just play on the banks for hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably go back there. Um, and it's an interesting drive in the four wheel driving in. It's a bit of an adventure on the way in. So yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, just leave us any comments below or anything you want to know, um, or if you've got like suggestions of you know stuff that we can do in the videos or try and do a few more. We're we're just going to try and bang out little ones as we go. But if you've got suggestions about how you think we can make them a little bit better, yeah, we would like to hear them. And if there's any hip camps that you recommend, let us know.